I guess it's time to do an updated video of the water fountain running today. There's Rambo. <laughs> uh, this video is an update <clears throat> as to the power that we have coming into the RV. So what we've done is in the last time I said that we had uh, a 50 amp breaker. Well, we've gone on ahead and installed that 50 amp breaker right there. And so then what we've done is we've taken, um, it's well, all waterproof for rain and everything, but we have a surge protector on there as well. And you can see it basically tells you um, if there's any faults or anything. You use those, typically you use those in RV parks because the wiring in the parks is so, <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. And so this will protect the RV it won't send any power if it senses that there's a bad lead in there or a bad wire. Also, if the power goes off at the house, it has a delay um, so as to not allow, if power, when power comes back on, to not allow um, power to the RV until the head pressures in the uh, AC units equalize um, to prevent the damage to your... Um, to your AC unit. This has a split AC. This has split AC, so it requires 50 amps. And that's what we've done, is we've put a 50 amp breaker with a surge protector on there. Um, not that it really matters much as far as power is concerned, because we are solar here. But uh, that's what we did. We got rid of the dog bone, and uh, we did it right. So now we have a 50 amp breaker uh, that the RV is plugged into, and it draws 50 amps so that we can use everything in the RV, including both AC units, uh, at the same time in the RV. And so, that's quickly an update. Uh, we did this, I don't know, about a month or a couple months ago, and it's all waterproofed and everything, so if the monsoon rains come, it doesn't matter. Um, we have the RV set up here at the house, and uh, so that's basically just a real quick update. Okay, thanks for watching.